And when I met Tom, one very interesting thing about Tom, you know, there's many interesting things, as some of you might know, if you haven't seen Tom's channel or Tom's Instagram, go and check him out. I'll link it under here because Tom is, I think, quite a visionary in terms of the way you do online business compared to he's, he's not your average online business guy. It's a lot deeper than that, which I think is why we all get on so well because we, we think in a, a different way, but also quite similar to each other. But when I met Tom, one of the fascinating things about Tom was that you decided to go sober for how long? So I'd been sober for over a year when I saw you. Um, but yeah, the, the commitment was until I was 30 years old, I was going to leave alcohol. So how close are we now to a bender? So, well, technically, <laughs> um, I'm 30 in <laughs> September. So <laughs> we're, we're getting close to, to just absolutely derailing Tom's, Tom's That's it. train. It'll all go downhill after that. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm joking. We don't obviously want to do that. And we don't particularly, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't particularly, we drink, we don't drink that much. But that's, I've always found it interesting to meet a guy that doesn't drink. And you normally find the, the they're the best people, and you've probably seen I don't know tell the guys what what changed in your life between being a young guy and partying, and and what did you get out of going sober? Because I think there's probably a lot of guys listening. They like mm. a drink on the weekends. They like a party. They think they can let their hair down because they've earned it. Yeah. What would you say to that? That's um, yeah. And look, alcohol's great fun. Like no one's saying that it's not great fun. And you do some silly things with your mates, you make some great memories, but it starts to kind of weigh at like, right, what cost? And if you have big goals, if you have a vision, if you have something that you want to achieve, getting rid of alcohol is one of the best things that you can do. It's like a clear intention that, hey, I'm going to work on um, my goals. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it's hard. It's not easy. You, um, I'm sure people have heard this, but alcohol is like the only drug that people judge you for not taking. It's so deeply ingrained in our society, how we meet people, how we interact, how we go on dates. But that's good because it forces you out of a comfort zone. It forces you to solve problems in a different way. Like if I take someone out on a date, we're not going to a bar because that's just going to be the worst. Yeah. So where do you take them? What do you do? How do you do that? So it, it's... Giving up alcohol has been just wonderful for me. Like it has been just wonderful. I'm so happy now. Is you get rid of the ups and downs, you get rid of the spikes, and you're just much more consistent. You actually feel much more like yourself. It's like yeah. a coming home um, to who you actually are. And here's 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 the thing that trap a lot traps a lot of people. If you're drinking a lot, there's probably a lot of things in your life that you're actually not happy about, and you're probably using the alcohol to kind of mask them, to numb them a little bit. Now, initially, when you give up alcohol, those things are still there. Those yeah. things that you don't like about yourself are still there. And now they're in your face. So the choice is to either deal with them and grow or to go back to alcohol, numbing yourself. So it's not like it's, uh, oh, that solves all your problems. It's like, no, it presents your problems. And now you have to take action um, to sort that shit out. It's, uh, it's definitely a fascinating one. I've seen the largest periods of growth in my life from, from giving up alcohol and not having, like you said, the, the ups and downs. And the other interesting thing I found was you start to realize who you actually enjoy spending time with mm. when you're not intoxicated. Because you can get drunk with any idiot. You can get drunk with any guy and have a good time, go out and, and party. And yeah, you're friends for the night. But when I gave up alcohol, I, I was like, oh, I actually don't like ha hanging out with this person sober. And, and this person's actually pretty cool sober. And I found some, some major impacts on my life through giving up the booze. Mm. To be fair, I've got a question for you yeah, about good. alcohol. Well, that's Jack gets this box. Yeah. Um, so we've, working together, hanging out together, training together, we've found it fairly easy to not drink because you've got that other person around you mm. not drinking. I'm sure there's a lot of people in the audience who maybe don't have other people with them who are training, who are working, who aren't, who have these big goals. But... Yeah. Yeah, some people may, may not have that. So how have you found it? I'm presuming you went sober just by yourself. Yeah. How did you find it going solo sober? I think it, it's hard, but that's the point because you're, you're trying to change your reality. You're trying to change something. You've got to go through the period of isolation and you've got to practice that current friendship group, whatever it is, there's people around you who are going, oh, they kind of test you, but oh, it's my birthday. Oh, it's, but it's whatever. Good, those are the lessons. Those are the challenges you need 
Um, cause that's going to, it's like going to the gym and doing reps. You get used to saying no, you get used to doing your own thing, filling your own time differently. So doing it solo first is great cause it builds the reps, it builds the muscle, um, and it builds the identity. And then once you have that identity, you start to, you attract what you are, right? So once you are that identity, you, you start to spot other people who are on a similar path. True. That's, yeah. bit, that's and you big. you inspire the others around you as well. Because when you find your identity, you're comfortable with who you are as well. Because when I was drinking a lot, it was because I wasn't comfortable with who I was. Mm. I didn't like who I was. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'll just have a few beers tonight and just forget about all of that. But when <laughs> you're... <laughs> yeah. It wasn't, yeah. Really a, wasn't a joke. Yeah, no. <laughs> so it was yeah. pretty serious. <laughs> it was a really, really, really bad state. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when you are comfortable in yourself, people can recognize that. Yeah. And then they're attracted to that. Yeah. I think for anyone who's thinking about doing it, just take, do a month. Mm. Just set yourself a month, no no drink. Maybe maybe drink's great for you. Maybe maybe it's amazing in your life. Maybe maybe we're wrong and, mm. and, and you can deal with your alcohol and it's not a big deal for you and it does make your life better. But do a month just to test and just have a look at some metrics. How did I do in my business? How's my physique looking? That's mm. one big thing. Mm. If you're going to do it for any reason, the physique, you look way puffier, way unhealthier with the alcohol in the system. So you want to look ripped up, fucking give up booze for a month. Yeah. You'll make way more progress. Just do a month and then see, okay, do I want to moderate this? Do I want to quit for good? For me personally, I haven't quit for good. I did the whole month for Jan, February. I drank a little bit, but it's not in my life as a regular thing. Mm. It's like occasionally if I'm out, if I'm with a girl and we've gone on vacation or I'm on a private jet, for example, where there's big moments and big, big things that I've kind of achieved in my life and I want to have some champagne. That's when I do it now. Whereas before, I think for most people, it's a hiding from the life. For me, it's a celebration. Let's, let's, let's G up a little bit. Let's fucking get things going. And I like to just only celebrate. And I don't always celebrate with alcohol, but that, it's more of a celebration for me. you've got data, me. right? You've got data because most people start drinking at 16 and then every other week, minimum, they're drinking. But yeah. now by doing a month, doing two months, you actually have data. You actually can make a considered choice because you have the data to make the comparison and go, right, what is better for me? Yeah, test your data. You don't have to be fucking gay about it and and just... <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't have to make it gay, but you can just test your data and look at your life and see if it gets better. And that's what we want. We want lives to get better. We want people to be happier. We want people to give them their best self to the world. 